This is Opuntia humifusa, and it is a prickly pear cactus. And it's actually, even though it's people don't really like it because it's got some pretty gnarly spines, you can see, but also some really small hair finds on each one of those nodes. There's a bunch of microscopic, really small uh, hairs that will get embedded and they're really painful. So you definitely don't want to touch this with your bare hands. But the cool part about it is, um, A, that it has these smaller pads can be removed and used as a vegetable. It kind of has this like tart, chewy, and it's not chewy, it's more like the texture of, um, kind of like okra is probably the closest thing. And these smaller ones are probably even more tender. And you can just snap those off carefully again because of the, the little hairs called glochids. Um, and chop them up and throw them as, and you could have, you know, several of these cactuses, cacti, um, around and you could just snap off these pads and use them in your cooking really easily. Um, and they're good for you and they'll just keep regenerating. It's perennial all year round. <clears throat> the more sun, the better. But this is a west facing wall, so it only gets sun in the afternoon. And the other cool thing about it is uh, it will actually produce fruit. The fruit on this variety is not great. <clears throat> Again, it could be because of the the lack of sunlight, but there are other varieties that have really delicious fruit that can be juiced um, or just eaten fresh. So um, even though this is kind of a mean looking plant, oh, it also has beautiful flowers too. Google search some prickly pear cactus flowers. Even though it's kind of a mean looking plant, it has beautiful flowers. <coughs> Excuse me, I have something in my throat. Uh, beautiful flowers, sweet fruit, and uh, a really great perennial vegetable.